What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another another potentially hilarious episode. Of the your, your voice, <laughs> your voice just dropped like like a full two semitones. <laughs> well, to be to be perfectly frank, you were being so freaking hilarious that I was getting giggly, and so my voice was starting to rise up in the back of my throat, and I was like basically tittering over here. It's like, oh man, this is really great. And so I'm, you know, I'm starting low so that I can then get high. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch built a big barn. <laughs> All right, vocal exercises complete. Um, today, what we want to talk about is something that we we kind of talk about a lot <laughs> here at Boxer, whether it's internally, externally, with our clients or our prospects here on the show, on our other podcasts. We talk about this kind of thing so much because it's really it's it's a it's a real part of the foundation of what we do here at Boxer. So. This is about now. Do you want to tee me up to to riff on it, or do you want me to tee you up first? Because I know you've got some things to say about this particular topic. Either or, you go. You go ahead. You go ahead. You don't need to tee okay. me up. Let's just, let's just 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 talk about it. We'll just go. All right. All right. We'll just, we'll just have a conversation. I like to like to say that all the time. I find that find that's the experience with so many of the best podcasts. We're just having a conversation. It's just a little structured. Yeah. So, speaking of structure and speaking of intention. Um, I ended up titling this episode Omni with Intention, uh, which is a bit of a play on words when it comes to, you know, one of Boxer's flagship service products, but we'll get to that here in a second. But the intentionality, Omni with Intention is basically a, a little shorthand meaning how to be everywhere, everywhere you want to be, everywhere you know you need to be um, on social media, out in the world, as a business, as a brand, without having to spend, have to make 30 hours out of every 24 hour day just to do that. That, that. Being everywhere can be a lot of work, a lot of effort and really time consuming. And something that we focus on here is how to, how to laser focus, how to narrow in a very healthy way your marketing and branding efforts while also keeping them diversified by being all the places you know you wanna be and, not but, and focusing on the platforms that give you the most juice, get you the most prospects, convert to the most clients, build your impact the most, amplify your voice the most. And a lot of people fall into the trap, a lot of business owners will fall into the trap of thinking that they only get one of those two things. And something we've discovered in our work over the past few years is that you can, and honestly should, be able to do both. Laser focus on the platforms that serve you best, produce the kind of content and get your message out there in a way that serves you and your business best and has the kind of impact you really are hungry to have and be everywhere that someone might find you because you want to be discoverable. You want someone who you've never met to find you somewhere saying something or doing something that really that they respond to that excites them. And then they come to you and they reach out and they start that journey towards your relationship before you know they exist. That's, that's, that's the goal. That's the gold standard. So um, talk a little bit about that and how how we like to think of it and how we see it be successful for our clients. Well, so it's 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 interesting. I think it it starts, you know, it starts with it starts with content, right? And you you have to make some content and you have to, you know, have kind of a base platform to start, right? We work a lot with coaches. Um, obviously, our, our primary audience is coaches. Um, so you guys are probably spending a reasonable amount of time on LinkedIn. Um, if you're not, then question your life choices. Um, <laughs> LinkedIn is probably, uh, if you have to pick one, LinkedIn should probably be the social platform for you. Um, I'm, I'm open to being wrong about that. If you have if you have dissenting opinions, drop them in the comments and let's chat about it. I'd be very curious to hear, um, you know, if you're finding a ton of success on another platform, um, that's cool. And I would be curious <laughs> to, to know more about that. <laughs> um, because in my experience with coaches, LinkedIn is the place to be. Um, I, I digress. My, my point with this is that, you know, to get started, you really, you got to start with creating some content and, and starting on a base platform. And as you, um, uh, as you, as you grow the idea, we kind of, what Kevin is talking about is, is building out systems, mm -hmm. um, to take 
a piece of content that you're that you've created generally speaking if you start with video you can pull other types of content from video for example you can pull audio from the video you can transcribe the audio from video and pull text from that you can take the video and do little snippets from it you can pull mm -hmm. quotes uh from the audio from the video uh and create little <laughs> quote cards um but right so so if you're if you're starting from video essentially you can pull other forms of all other forms of content from that from mm -hmm. video to audio to text to images right mm -hmm. to, to visual uh content um so video tends to be a good place to start um and then you know in terms of building out processes to be omnipresent to be on other platforms to be on instagram to be on facebook um you know to TikTok. be on TikTok, <laughs> youtube shorts to be, to be on youtube shorts youtube shorts is a big one especially as we get into this conversation and i don't want to digress too much on this but i'm going to mention it real quick uh as we get into uh you know more serious conversations about legislation block banning TikTok in the united states um, there is no question in my mind why uh, YouTube Shorts is not the big winner from that. Um, and, and the short version of that is because YouTube treats their, uh, their, their, their content creators very, very well, uh, mm -hmm. especially the ones that do it for a living, right? These, the, the content creators that get paid and they create content for a living, uh, YouTube treats them very well. And that's why YouTube has survived as long as it has. Um, whereas Instagram has had issues here and there. Uh, but I don't want to digress too much on that. The point is, uh, what was, what's my point, Kevin, help me out here. <laughs> you kept digressing and you kind of lost me a little bit. I think there was a couple of interesting points you were making there, but there's one that I want to go back to. And you were using that as, as you, you're basically referencing as you build systems. Rain me you in, build systems, and I have an, I have another B word I want to replace that with because the building of systems. I mean, obviously that's something that's near and dear to our hearts, near and dear to our brains. It's something we do here often, and something we see. We have a high regard for the value of how much it frees you to scale, frees up your time, rather than build a system, which you can do from scratch. You can indeed reinvent the wheel if you truly wish to do so. However, and, and I'm going to go ahead and just do some shameless self promotion here. Borrowing a system is a real way to get from where you are to where you want to go. Because if someone has already done the hard work of figuring out what works, what doesn't, what's optimized for certain platforms, what might be the best way to get the best out of you or someone you know, and convert that into different formats onto different platforms in such a way that gets you what you want, gets you, gets you attention and impact and prospects and new clients and a growing business borrow a system from someone who's done the hard work of testing it and tweaking it and building it out for you. Um, you know, long story short, that's exactly where Boxer comes in. Another B word that I would like you to think of when you're thinking about building or borrowing systems to really grow your impact and scale your business. So that I, I think that was the core of it. Shameless self-promotion, but also value because we've thought a lot about this. We've done a lot of work on this and we think it's really the way to go. I think I want to I want to add in here like this, this is a little shameless and self promoting so I do want to want to drop in some some value here if you guys have if you're watching this video and you want to know you know if you want some help building your own systems shoot us an email and we'll help you right I mean I'm not yeah. we're not we're not just looking <laughs> we're not just here looking for um uh you know new clients this isn't supposed to be an advertisement this is supposed to be like us helping you guys out delivering value and stuff so if you've got questions and you really you want to build your own system to do this shoot us an email um i'm happy to uh michael at boxer.agency is my email address i'm, I'm happy to you know talk to you about it we can hop on a quick zoom call um and you know any any questions that you've got about how we do it i, I mean it's not you know nothing that we do is uh trademarked or anything it's so not i'm happy secret. We do, this is like our yeah. hobby almost i mean we do it for a living but we're like hobbyists we're mm -hmm. passionate about it and we love to talk about it we love to help people discover what works best for them even and sometimes especially if that's not like us it's like we're we've talked about this in previous episodes we're all about fit 
and alignment. And <laughs> at, at our core, we're just really like weirdly sort of obnoxiously nerdily passionate about this kind of stuff, <laughs> building effective systems for branding and marketing that, you know, don't require a whole lot of time. In fact, require vanishingly small amounts of time for, you know, radiating impact. And like, yeah, honestly, we could talk to you for as long as you will let us talk and we will listen to you for as long as you want someone to listen to you on this subject and other related subjects. Cause it's just, it's a real, it's a real nerdy passion for us <laughs> for both of us. I know. <laughs> yeah. And it's, and the, the, so the social omnipresence is something that just works. You know, we, we are, our, our big value prop is that we can take care of your social media marketing in six minutes or less that that's kind of how we've, we've built this system. So yeah. Um, whether, yeah, whether, you know, if you're looking to build your authority, to build your brand online, to build your brand on social media, if you're looking to earn trust from mm -hmm. your prospects and followers, grow your followers on social media, um, to make an impact, right. With, a, if you've got a strong message that you really believe in, you want to make an impact. Um, I think it's a good, uh, I don't think, I know for a fact, uh, I, I've seen the data, it works. <laughs> it's a good system. Um, and, and it's, and it's super powerful, right? This is, we, we, we built this, we modeled it after Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, those kind of guys who were socially omnipresent, right? Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, so whether, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a message that you really believe in, you want to get it out there, whether you're looking to outsource it or build it yourself, drop us a comment, drop us a, a message. Happy to chat with you about it. That's it. Yeah. Also, if you want some of this, like, yeah, nerdy, passionate, excited en energy <laughs> with, 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 a, with a healthy, with a healthy dose of experiential knowledge. Yeah. We, we clearly love to talk about this kind of stuff. So I should probably get us out of here. I think we've rambled enough and we probably touched on a number of topics. I'm, just going to go ahead and say are going to be the center of future shows. So if you want to learn more about why LinkedIn, as opposed to yes, LinkedIn, we know a little bit about that. If you want to know why short form video and not X, Y, and Z, we can, we can delve deeply into that too. And we'll do that on the show. We could do that in personal conversations. If you're interested, comment, call me <laughs> or email either of us, Michael at boxer agency, super duper easy. Kevin, at boxer.agency spelled the usual way no weird whys in there anywhere reach out let us know if you want to you want to have a chat and yeah we will talk to you here again very soon <laughs>